In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add these motion graphics for your talking head videos and more specifically, how to effectively match them with what's being said in the video. Now for this one, I'm going to be breaking down one of my own reel edits. Yes, the day has come where I break down one of my own reel edits and I'm just going to break down a portion from it. I'm not going to edit the whole thing. I'm not going to show you how to edit the whole reel. I'm just going to show you this portion just as a reference to break down something like this. So we're going to start with the standard procedure in which we're going to just drag in our footage. And speaking of footages, if you're looking to enhance the overall quality of your footages, you'll definitely love the sponsor for today's video, which is AIRT. With AIRT Video Enhancer, you can remove gain, noise, or blemish from your videos. You can upscale low resolution video with details to 1080p, 2K, or even 4K. You can also boost the FPS to make it smooth or create slow motion. You can also remove audio noise and even adjust the colors for your video. Now you can try it out for free by just heading over to their website. They allow a free trial. I will add a link in the description where you can go over to their website and go ahead and test this out yourself. Now I've tried it myself and it works great, but you do need to head over to their website to make sure that your hardware is compatible with the software because you do need to match the specs, the minimum specs that they have on their website in order for it to work smoothly. But of course, even with low specs, it works great. But the thing is, if you have high specs, it will work better because then you will have high quality edits done in less time. And besides the video enhancer, they also have image enhancer and different tools that you can also try out if you want to edit images, etc. So definitely head over to their website and check out all the products that they have. I will be, of course, adding the link in the description where you can head over to their website. Now, with that being said, let's get back to the video. Add in the cuts and then we're going to do some color grading and then also edit the sound as well. And once everything is set up, then we are ready to start the motion graphics process. So let's go ahead and let's get started with this specific portion that I'm going to show you how to edit in this video. So we're just going to select this part of the video, as you can see right here. And let me just hide this for now. Hide all of these. So right here we have this clip right here. I'm just going to use this clip as a, a demo, as a sample to for this tutorial. But this is pretty much the general principle that you can use to add motion graphics on top of any talking head video. So right now, let me just go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to bring it right here. All right, so if we play this right now, all right, so right now we're just going to enable this to see how it looks. All right, so right here we're going to add some motion graphics and then we're just going to continue with the talking head part. So for this, First of all, go ahead and download these assets and then you can go ahead and drag in a fusion composition right here. All right. And let's go ahead and resize this. So of course, this is up to you. You can keep it to however you want this to be. Of course, you won't be having this footage. This is just as an example. The main thing that you're gonna have for this video are these assets, so you can just go ahead and use them. But the main thing that I'm going to show you is how to place them on top of that talking head footage that you have underneath it but the main thing is that you need to just understand the process that i'm showing you by just using these graphics that that we have right here these assets that we have right here so right now let's go ahead right click in on the fusion composition open in fusion page and right here i'm going to drag in this background connect this with the media out and now let's go ahead and drag in this texture light this light texture that we have right here and let's go ahead and increase the size so that this fits the screen and the blend is going to be at 0 0.2. All right, so this is going to be the background for our whole clip. And we're going to use two different fusion compositions on top of it now. So let me just go ahead, move up. Let's enable this video track and let's go ahead and add in another fusion composition. All right, so this one I'm just going to resize according to the dialogue. So where we have this dialogue ending, I'm just going to add a cut. All right, so right here, 
we have this dialog finishing so let's just go somewhere around here and then resize this so for you what you can do is let me just show you the clip duration the first clip duration is at two seconds so you can just go with two seconds 21 milliseconds something like that and then in this one what you can do is you can just add a clip and change the duration to one second and 0.5 millisecond so once you have these changes done let's go ahead right click and open in fusion page all right so right here we're just going to add in this image for this television and also let's go ahead drag in a background connect this image with the background this image with the media out all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the background and change the alpha to zero now if you go back you will notice that we have this right here this black background so what you can do is go over to the composite mode and just change this to add that's it and now we can go back so right now don't worry about this background right here because we know that in our main composition this is not the case so let's zoom in and now let's go ahead and add in our text so you can just go ahead and add in a text right here text node connect this right here and let's just type in our text so what we, what is being said in the video that's the main thing we need to make sure that the timing is correct so let me just see okay so it says the edit was clean so we're gonna do it in two parts we're gonna do the first the edit and then was clean so we have a pair of two words that we can add on top of this screen so let's do that so this is the first one the edit and for this you can just go with any font let's just go with poppins and let's just go with black move this right here and go over to the layout and from here you can change the z so that this fits in the rotated screen that we have right here now let's go over to the shading and from here let's just change the opacity a little bit and also what you can do is you can go ahead and drag this dropper right here on the screen where it's a white color right here so we can have this sort of a color so let's keep this at somewhere around 0 0.7 the opacity and now this matches the screen as well now the next thing is simply to add the second text so you can just press ctrl c to copy this node and then unselect and then ctrl v to paste and then connect this with the merge tool so right here you can just drag this and let's just call it was clean and for this one we can of course reduce the size of course you can change the color you can change the font type if you want to but i'm just going to keep this at black now comes the main part which is where this text is going to appear so for this you need to go back to the main timeline and check in so right here it says the edit so what we can do is right here where the first word is being spoken we can go ahead and add in let's say a write down effect for this so right here we can see okay this is close to 10 so this was ending at 11 but i'm going to just go ahead and start this or reveal the text at 10. so let's go over to the text and from here let's create a keyframe at right on and then and then go over to zero and change this to zero so something like this and then this text right here let's go back and let me just zoom in so here you can see now this looks like it's matching with the dialogue so this is the way to do it so from here it starts the second text that we have right here was clean so we're just going to reveal it right here starting from here and then ending right here so let's go over to this text and then right here at right on let's create a keyframe and set this to zero and let's move in right here go back to the fusion composition and this is ending at 18 so now we can just move this back in and if you play this now this is how it looks but let's go back and see now if you think that this is too fast of course you can go back and move this 
so let's maybe go over at 20 create a keyframe and then let's remove the keyframe at 18 so this is how it looks now perfect all right now let's go back to the fusion composition and one more thing that we need to do is let's go ahead and select this merge tree and then click on this brightness right here so we're going to just use this gain to show that okay this is it there is a movement on the db so for this one you also need to add this rectangle or you can also use the polygon to cover this screen right here so let's just move out and reduce the width and the height so that this fits in our screen change the angle and the width right here and also the height and then you can just increase the soft edge a little bit and now let's go ahead and increase the gain to something like this all right so what we can do is we can just manually add these keyframes so let's go over at zero create a keyframe add gain then let's go over at let's say five reduce this then go over at 10 increase this and then add let's say 20 let's reduce this and then maybe at 25 let's increase this at 30 let's increase this further and then all the way to the end let's reduce this so if you play this now here you will see that we have this sort of an effect that is there is a glow effect or you can say a brightness effect that we usually see on these old tvs so that's how you can achieve it so now our first scene is done but we also need to animate this so let's go ahead and add in this transform and then right here add let's say actually let's go all the way to the end and we can create a keyframe add center in the transform and then let's go over at zero and then move this down so if you play this and now let's go over to the spline and select the displacement and from here select the keyframes hit s on the keyboard and then just move this right here so if you play this this is how it will look now let's go back to the main timeline and see how this looks all right perfect now of course it would be better to zoom this in a little bit from here perfect and now let's add in our second fusion composition actually the third one but uh, this is the second one for the text that we need so now it says technically perfect so what we're going to do is just the same thing that we did before this time we have this cube so let's drag this in do the same thing we did before connect this with the background and then this merge with the media out and again let's change the alpha to zero and again in the main timeline you need to go ahead and change the composite mode to add that's it let's go back to the fusion composition and from here let's do the same thing that we did before but this time we're going to add our text and one more thing you can do is you can go back to this composition copy the text from here Control c then go right here in this composition and just paste it and now let's remove this one and let's go ahead and connect this right here but this time we don't need to change the z so just double click on the z and this will be a straight text all right so right here let's go ahead and increase the size and write our text and let me just go ahead and change this to light this time and reduce this and let's play this all right actually we can also move this down right here so it will work just fine and now for the second text for this let's control c this node and then control v right here connect this with the merge tool and then let's just move this down and then let's change the text to this one and now you can increase the size if you want let's just go with regular and that's it but this time we have this opacity thing going on so let's just go back to the timeline and see where this is starting from so from here the perfect is being said right here so what we can do is 
let's see this is starting at 17 so let's just go over at 15 and then in the keyframes we can select this text that we have so the name of our text is this so let's just click on this once you click on this you will be able to see this and then if you click on zoom to fit now you can select these keyframes and you just move this up make sure to select both these right on end and start and just move this right here so this is how it will look and let's go back and see how this looks all right and let's do the same thing with the transform make sure to add this transform node but this time we're going to do it differently we're not going to start from bottom to up we're just going to zoom this in so let's create a keyframe at size and then go right here and then let's just increase this to let's say 1.25 and let's go over to spline go over to transform click on size select these keyframes and hit s on the keyboard and then move this right here and now let's see how this looks All right, so now let's go ahead and add in a transition between them. So the way you can do that is if you even if you go over to this video transition, the default transition, and you can just add this blur dissolve between them. Let me just move this. And let's just do it right here. So this is will this will also work. But otherwise, you can also of course add an overlay to it. So you can go ahead and try out any transition that you want, but the main thing I've already shown you how to do so this is how you can add these nice looking graphics on top of a talking head video. So if you play the whole thing. So this is how it will work. And of course you can add a transition right here as well to go along with the uh, overall movement of the whole video. But this is pretty much it. Alright, so this was it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.